Hmm. What is this for, actually? This has to be for, like, something. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe right here. Maybe right there. Let's pull this big boy right on in the room there. Nice. Well, that's not. Maybe I need to push it against the wall. I can't really see very well in here. Let me... There we go. I can't really move it anywhere else. Okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, but... That didn't really work. Maybe I can, like... Oh, god damn it. I can't really, like... I can't really jump off of this onto, like, a, a wall. Like, I try to, like... Maybe it needs to be, like, right up against the wall. Maybe now it'll work. There we go. Nice. And now we can carry on with our lives. Go back to our regularly scheduled program of trying to do the main story. Except there's probably even more wealth out here or something. Oh, there's an artifact. A yeah, there's an artifact and some wealth. The question is, can I can I get it? Oh, is this it right here? Oh, it was an opal. Nah, there's like a yeah, there's a mask down here. Got a nice Roman artifact collected. Do I even want to break open these vases? Probably not. It's probably a waste of time. I feel like kind of a waste of time. All right. Excuse me, Boris. Thank you. I'm just trying. Yep. Just trying to get by you. I'm surprised I could actually just walk in here. Oh, a snake? Come on. That was a lot of loot. No, no actual, like, gear to pick up, but decent amount of wealth. We got an upgrade to an ability that I don't really use. This boar is trying to kill me. That's called the old horse, and get out of here. What do you think this is? You think this is anything good over here? If it's like a piece of gear, I will probably try to get it, but if it's just like normal wealth. There's a couple things over here. Won't be gentle with this, buddy. I think it's just like regular wealth. Probably just some, like, regular chest. Now, there's just, like, a person with wealth on him. All right, I'm just going to leave this alone for now. I'm going to leave it alone for now. Yeah, this place looks pretty nice. Look at this. It's very green. Nice trees and stuff. This is a pretty nice, pretty nice looking place. Oh, come on. How come the destination can't be reached? Is it because I have to... I probably have to find him in, like, a specific oh area. Aw, oh, dang it. Kill him, Avor, kill him. Oh, I was hoping it would knock him down, but he just took the axes to the face and didn't care.
Away, cursed tusks! Return to the Beastmaster and tell him I will not fall to the trap of your devil's hooves! Where is this wolf at? There is a wolf just howling. There's also like a random blue thing in the house. Dead from fear or something else. He fulfilled his own prophecy. The nature took its revenge. World event completed. Well, I guess that was the end of that. And that stench. Rubbish and rotting food. In his fear, he barricaded himself inside. Little wonder the rats came. These are the ramblings of a madman. But the animals, I cannot deny they tormented him. Okay, interesting. He was terrified. Believed himself cursed after killing a she-wolf and her cub. Okay, well, I guess I guess he was right. He definitely did die. I don't know if there's anything else going on here, but seems like that little world event is done. I don't know if we really got anything. I feel like there's probably more to this, but also a wolf out here. Here's the wolf that was howling the whole time, probably. No more howling for you. All right, one day we will make it to the quest. Where's my horse? Dude, where's my horse? Here it is. Thank you. Hey, a lot of cows over here. Nice. Who's chasing me? Is there like a dog chasing me? Why is there a dog chasing me? Whose dog wants to get fucked up? You want to go? You want to go, dog? All right, let's fucking go then. How do you like that? How do you like that, dog? That's what I thought. Let that be a lesson to anyone else. Got a dog. I don't know. The horse got scared. All right. Oh, there is a fast travel point over here. Can I make my horse walk over to me? Well, thankfully... The person we have to talk to is right by a synchronization point, so I'm gonna probably go past them and just get the synchronization point to start with. This place is so nice and green. Kind of like this place. Eivor, will you just climb onto the roof? Thank you. Oh, this wasn't even where I needed to go. There's a key in there. All right, what else we got around here? There's some wealth in there. Seems to be some sort of ingot. Maybe we'll start getting some better upgrading mats here soon. Probably like, I don't know, this area or the next area. There's also some shit down there. Maybe we'll start getting some better stuff soon. That's not what I wanted to do. Find a key. Oh, come on. It's probably... How many keys are around? No, there's two keys around here, actually. Oh, man. Which key is it going to be? The one that's, like, super deep underground? Or... Well, I can probably... Yeah, I can probably go down the well. There's a well right here. Collect a key. What is this? What am I carrying? Random box? I have no clue what that box is for. Whatever. Let me loot this idiot who died. Those stupid monks, they have no idea I've been smuggling their precious ale out of the priory and selling it to the locals for double. And all right under their noses. Men of God, idiots of nothing more like. Ha, that's a good one. I should tell Cineric or Kinneric. Who knows with how things are pronounced in this game. If he gets his sozzled self here before sundown, 
Maybe I will have a couple of flagons while I wait. Okay, well, he died down here, apparently, so that didn't go very well. Oh, shit, I got a fucking Rune of Rain armor rune? What is that? Maybe I should check my runes real quick. I mean, like, let me go into runes. What do we got? Uh, fire resistance. That's not what I want. I want to put... Let me go to that, and let me put this, like, four armor in, because that's a little bit better. Let me check my weapon runes, see if there's anything better here. What do I got? 2.4 attack in both of them. Six ability damage? Eh. Probably just keep this as is. All right. Let's get out of here. Hopefully that's the key I need. Eivor, just pull yourself out of the well. Thank you. This is probably just going to be for another, like, nickel ingot that I don't really care about at this point. But... Oh my god, this was not the key. So is it the other key, or is there a third key nearby? Because there's a key over there. There was a key in the well. I probably... Oh, my God. Just let me open the chest. This better be something better than a nickel ingot, but you know it's probably not. It's probably not going to be. Really can't open that door? I'm really surprised that worked. Secret ale recipe? Secret ingredient to our famous ale's smooth flavor and tender aroma is using fresh silf... silf... silphium? In the mix. I have no idea what the hell silphium is. This yellow flower was something St. Adrian himself brought from his birthplace of that place, Africa, along with this ancient recipe... It is also rumored to have some contraceptive effects, but use this method at your own risk. Yeah, I have no idea what that place in Africa is called, but I know how to say Africa, so... <laughs> we'll go with that. Where's this key? Here we go. Nice. Uh, if this isn't the key, I don't know. I give up. Oh, yeah, you can't leave this door. I forgot. It looks like you should be able to, like get out of it, but I don't... Yeah, it doesn't really look like... Okay, we'll just go the long way. We'll just go the way we came. If this key does not open this, then I, I give up. This has to be it, right? Did I need two keys? Maybe I needed two keys. Nickel ingot, of course. We got a nickel ingot that I don't really care about, but whatever. It was the fun we had on the way. Yeah, one titanium, one nickel ingot. That was kind of not worth it. All right, well. About this land, my friend. He's over here somewhere. I wonder if that's him sitting in the middle of this fucking shit. Who is this? Nope. That is my so, what I mean to say is faith is paramount. Yes. For without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. Uh, no, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest, whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. 
And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kanga, Fulke? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Kunibert. Full of pious fire. But with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Kunibert know? Come. I will introduce you. And we'll hear the full tale together. All right, well. Kent Ark started. Beautiful. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim. I am always at peace and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty. The hidden one's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important, and I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. It's a nice little town is over this there. not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenston has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, 
but well connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Fulkenstein. All right, well, let's head to the next marker. And we'll start figuring stuff out then. Just got to go reach the inn. I should probably call my horse because it's a little bit further away. I was I thought we were going to go to the town that's like over there, but I guess we're going to a different town that's over here. Apparently we've got a couple small settlements slash towns slash churches slash whatever. The horse one's pretty fast. It's pretty nice. I remember I upgraded this a while back, but... Need to cloak myself here. Need to cloak myself here. I'll just come out of the water and just start beating ass fucking... Oh, yeah, here we go. Just parry after parry. Who else wants a parry? The fast dagger guy? I'm never going to be able to parry this guy. He's just sitting here for some reason? Okay. I guess he wanted to die. Whatever. Oh, there we go. Probably not the best way to introduce myself to this town, but oh, I can like set. Yeah, I can set traps on these guys. I forgot. Oh, set some traps. No one's gonna come over here at this point, but the other side must be barred. Can I just blow this up? Dang, I was hoping that would work, but 